So we are going to do a small sketch from origin from how we are going to receive our patient coming to the hospital to take down the information. But bearing in mind that in this case we are dealing with the patient that we are going to admit to the hospital. So the patient is going to be admitted to the hospital. So we will watch as we do our display. Let's come to the hospital. All the equipment are set because we don't know when the patient is coming or what time or whatever. Okay, so please, we just have a short cut so that we can arrange all our stuff. Like from there, we we'll proceed. into the hospital so this is our our reception i'll be i'll act as a receptionist the nurse who is uh, uh like that so so we are going to be receiving our patient <laughs> We have taken all the vital signs of the patient. We have taken all the vital signs of the patient. Now the patient is in her ward. So we have taken all her information. Now we need to get that to the doctor or the physician so that we know what, what uh, prescription they will give for her, which we report all our duties to. So we take these ones, 
we put levels on we have the chain we have the watch we have the earring or whatever we put levels on we put them in a bag label them put the patient's name the date the time when she checked in the hospital and we hand them to the head nurse whosoever is our supervisor who we are reporting on that is going to keep that until when the patient will be discharged now we have the the bank pill also placed on the patient this is very important because whatever information is here is what we are going to be using for the patient's feeding and medication and whatever so in this bank hall we have the patient's name we have the time the date when she was uh, admitted in the hospital we have her date uh, date of birth we have her ward number or room number and every other information concerning the patient and you must note each time you walk into the patient's room that you want to administer medication or whatever thing to the patient, the first thing you do is you must check the patient's respect to know that whatever medication you have to give the patient or food corresponds to this. Reason being, there are patients that come to the hospital with different problems. You might have a patient that is diabetic and you might have a regular patient. Those two patients do not fit on the same meals. So for this purpose, we have to ensure that. Okay, now our patient or we get the hospital gown. So we have to change the patient. Assume that we are changing the patient. So now we change the patient from her regular dress, put her a hospital gown, or we put her a hospital pajama. So from there, we take her records, the doctor or the physician, who is then going to process and then see what is wrong with the patient for further proceeding or further medication the doctor and the doctor is working on that so another nurse nurse will come now our facility is a kind of facility that provides food in the hospital so we provide meals breakfast lunch and so forth so what we are going to do is uh, the patient was put in a private ward private ward we have facilities like telephone tv intercom, intercom all of that so we are going to educate the patient or her caretaker on how to use those stuff. They just came, they might never have seen those stuff or they might not know how to use those particular stuff. So what we do is we educate our patient or the caregiver on how to use those stuff, on, on which number they should call the reception in case of emergency. Maybe they need urgent um, attention. The number they can use to call on how to on the TV, how to on the AC and all of that and all of that for a patient's discharge. Or if these two parties are not on scene, it is possible that they do a phone call or dream for discharge. So we have assumed that the, that the doctor has ordered for the patient to discharge. And now the patient is ready for discharge. Now, when the patient is ready for discharge, things we have to know is we don't just discharge the patient. Now we create awareness to the patient that she or he or she is ready for a discharge or be discharged on this particular day. We prepare the patient's mind, we prepare the mind of the care of the caretaker. We allow time for the for them for them to arrange their stuff so that they can be able to check into the hospital. We check on the patient's medication list to, to ensure that he or she has been following the correct procedure as prescribed. Then we give them time for bathing and packing of their stuff <coughs> because we don't want our patient to be on rush we check on their financial uh, accountability to be sure that all records have been settled in the hospital before they leave the hospital so we are preparing our patient for discharge we'll give them some instructions they were given you ensure that you do a list of everything write the instructions follow your food follow your therapy follow your next visit follow all the instructions given and then make appointment for the visit to the hospital and that does not end as discharging from the patient from the hospital to home the hospital will ensure that we send some nurse to follow up with the patient or if the patient might be the case might not be better they need to transfer ensure that the transfer procedure to the care home or wherever is being done properly so now we assume that our patient we are giving some time for packing yeah. This to the patient or the caregiver, the way we put them, 
Now our patient has left the room. We have to clean, take out our bed sheet, clean the room, ventilate the room, sanitize the room. Assume that we are in a, we are in a period of a serious pandemic. We have to sanitize everywhere, we clean the toilet, change the sheet, change the blanket, and follow up with the the, the, the doctor's prescription if the if the the patient was referred to another hospital, which in this case our patient is well. She, she wasn't referred to another physician for any follow-up. Our patient got a good treatment from Newton's health care. So our patient will be going home. Thank you for visiting back the, the bed, the way the, the, the patient met it. Forty. Like this. No wrinkles for the next patient. Three bodyguard group three. So I will introduce my group. Judith the patient, Doctor Norelisa, Nurse uh, Emily, and the assistant nurse, and the guardian. So. The, 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 so we are assumed that all the equipment are already uh, prepared, the materials are already ready. So the patient is now coming to the home care hospital, Newton Hospital. Hello, good afternoon. How can I help you? Is it for a while, please? So can I have your uh, name? So we assume that I take already the demand and the Emirates ID. So for now, I need to call the doc, the 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 nurse uh, Emily to assist the patient, and also I call the the nurses to prepare the bed for the admitting the patient. So we will assist the patient to to go to the. We are sure that the room, the room is all um, clean. We do everything. We make this close bed so that uh, before the patient will come, we can open it. We both close the curtain. No I don't know what I did. Please continue. The band of the patient have a uh, birth date and the name so that we can recognize <coughs> the nurses will check we cannot make remove those no. we'll remove all the valuables so that after discharge you can give it back to them 
Okay, then. Okay. And uh, who is this group? I want to your your rate this group. Okay. And we will be role playing the the admission and discharge of a suspected um, mild stroke patient in a hospital setting. Uh, I am Eric as a doctor. And I am Peggy as a I am a I'm there as a physician staff. I'm Lucy, the nurse.
Okay. So, take the um, right brain is uh, some, some image. We will check the, the field. This one, we cannot do it. This one is okay. I will check again the Oh, it's 200 over 100. Can you it? Per classroom, palpation, palpation. All okay. Only the elevated duty. Um, <coughs> so, affected with a mild stroke. So, nurse, can you give him her uh, fluid? 83 drops per minute. Um, I'm Ludipin, 4 milligrams. And um, we'll do some exercise later. And you do range of motion. Bring her belongings and get to the family. I'm the son. And then the things we'll do is we will finish this one. Yeah, I don't know. Does she have a monitor? Mr. Dirty, she has an allergy? No, she doesn't. Okay. The nurse, um, can you order the dietitian or the kitchen staff? Low carbs, low salt, and soft food. Just take them. Hello. Hi, Ms. Levy. We have a patient uh, in uh, room number 03. Yeah. Uh, as for doctor, we have to give her diet like uh, low carbs, low salt. Okay. Uh, name, no darling. Fat. name, darling. Name, name Jenny. Yeah, okay. okay. Room number 03. Okay. The diet? Diet uh, low carbs, low salt. Allergy? No allergy. No okay. allergy. Low fat and uh, soft diet. Soft diet. Okay. I will bring uh, now snacks, okay? Because uh, later they will uh, go to three o'clock. Okay? That's better. Okay, guys. Hello, I'm Peggy, and I'm going to say today, I'll make you, and we will do a range of movements, okay? So that you will get After a week, the patient Jenny uh, ready to discharge. Uh, laboratory results, please. Okay. All fine. Uh, the BP is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, so today, Jenny, um, uh, you are ready to discharge. To the patient, our discharge plan, please. 
Hi, Ma'am Jenny. Uh, as for Dr. Eri, you have to continue your medication. So, uh, you have to take uh, one tablet of a medication for the healing of one tablet. And you have to do exercise. And this is why you take the therapy. Uh, every person is Thumbs up and your Yay. thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, guys, all of you are very good. You have three. Thumbs up, group two, three, group three, three, and group four, three as well.